Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. Again, how you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great. Um, uh, as always, check out the description box. Uh, nice links, all that stuff. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Alright, so I have a few problems in here that we need to fix. Now, to make something show up on screen, I was dumb because the first first uh texture rect in this whole series in this in this texture sheet is at position zero not one so you want to put it at zero x and zero y that will be the first one and then it will kind of calculate that as a rectangle from the point zero zero to um a point which is 192 pixels to the right and 192 pixels down so it'll be kind of a little square there so you want to do that, and this will probably be 13 and 0 in the y direction. And that is the speed, so that's fine. Now we added that, okay. Uh, another thing that is kind of dumb is that uh, when we create our animation component, I'm giving it a sprite. Now the sprite already exists in... So I'm going to just remove that. Already exists in the entity. So when I do the create component in entity, um, and we probably don't need that. So wait, let me see. Hmm, hmm. Actually, the sprite. Hmm, hmm. No, it should. It needs the sprite here. Sorry about that. Let me just see entity create animation component. Um, yeah, here this sprite so I don't need to actually I don't need to actually have the sprite in there in that function for entity so I'm just gonna remove that quickly and make it look real nice it all it needs is a texture um, because yeah once you you can set a texture or you can give it a texture sheet for the animation and that's good because it doesn't actually hold the texture. The sprite itself holds the texture. Depends on what you use. So if we go to player.cpp, I'm just going to remove set texture from here because we're not going to need that. And then I'm going to run this. And it's going to go to shit because I don't want that. Uh, I need to probably, probably do this again. Oh no, I, I changed it before it even got here, I think. Okay. Uh, new game. Alright, so we got our character here. And it's not animating because we're not running the animation. But we do have our, our beautiful little character here. Which we can move around. Uh, quit. Okay. So, step number dos. Okay. Step number two. We're gonna make sure we can run this. Now... Now, 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 now. Player. Hmm. Let's see. Player, player, player. Entity.cpp. Let me just let me just figure this out. Let's see. Why are you complaining? Are you crashing? What's going on? Oh shit. Oh damn. That's never good. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh so 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 we can move the entity. We can update the entity. And this is where I update this. Now I want to be able to update the animation on the player. Now I need to think what I'm going to do. If I open game state, let's go in here. I should have thought about this before I made the video. I'm sorry. Um, that's how I do. So when you move it, we just, you know what? We just want... We just want um, a player update. Is it virtual? Update is virtual. So I can make my own virtual function in player dot cpp, which would help me update my player. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that in there. And I'm going to define this. There we go. Okay. 
So I'm just going to define that. Um, and in this update, I am going to call entity update. I'm going to call its own update function, basically. It's, it's core update function. And then I'm going to do other stuff. Then I'm going to check the animation. So this animation component dot play idle left. So every frame it's going to update the idle left and DT as well. Hopefully this should work. I'm not actually call. Yes, I am. I am calling player. I just need to make it virtual, I think. Let's see. That's what is nice with virtual because you can kind of Oops, sorry about that. You can kind of uh, do whatever you want. Now, it's not really playing, is it? All right, so the problem was, from what I saw, uh, this right here in animation. So I want to add one, add to the timer. Um, also, also, I want to set the timer to zero. Because if we use something that hasn't been initialized, this is why I always initialize my shit. Because uh, if you don't initialize it, you'll get random errors. Things won't work like you want them to and things like that. So it's not it's not really cool. Uh, but we're just going to do that and probably put it to... No, we'll keep it at 10. You know, we'll keep it at something like 10. Um, and then, yeah, there you go. So that's pretty much it then it should start working. The only thing we need to do more than that is we need to go into game state, initialize textures and player idle. Um, let's just call it player, player sheet. Okay. And instead of test, we're going to use, let's see what we use here. We're going to use idle left sheet. That looks sounds so weird, but we're just gonna use that. Uh, idle left sheet dot png. Um, player idle player texture texture something like that. We'll just do that. Okay, so we're just gonna load that, and we'll create a big texture sheet for player later. But for now, we'll just do this. Um, okay, let's set that to ten. Player sheet. That's what happens when you switch things up too much um, probably shouldn't have changed that timer though let's just see at least if the texture shows up oh look it's moving it's moving it's moving god damn it it's moving god damn it okay okay so one more thing we got to do then uh, animation component dot h let's go up to the timer here and just set that to 100 because it will help us kind of tune in the time a little better. And then go back to player and just switch this. We'll keep that at 10 actually because uh, that will help us. And let's, let's just run this one more time. Let's see if we're actually getting the idle animation. And I don't really like this, calling the entity update like this. But you know what? We're, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. We'll, we'll do it. Because sometimes things work. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that, dude. Oh, mm, mm. Working animation. Look at it. Just take a moment. Just take a moment. And look at that. That's that's a great animation. And then we can just... We'll be able to switch it up and do stuff. All right? Um, cool. Cool. For now, that's good. For now, that's good. We need to fix this, though. We need to do this. If this... Um, uh, if this uh, movement component, this movement component update DT, all right? And we don't actually need the if here because we do create one guaranteed in player. So we don't need to do that. And then we're just going to do animation like that. Go into entity, entity update, remove this. Um, say that let's just keep that the way it is actually move is fine um, 
Move is fine. You know what we could do? You know what we could do? In the next video is clean this up. So we, instead of having these things in entity, we could make this a pure virtual class that forces each entity to have these functions. Now that would be nice, but I'm going to think a little bit about that. You know what? I'm going to think about that. I'll see how we will do the animations. I'll see how we'll do all that stuff with the entity. Hopefully, hopefully we can uh, we can make this work. Because the component system, at least the components for the entity should be updated in the other class here like this, because we're not sure if it's going to have a movement component, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. We'll keep working. Uh, but there you go. Now we have a working animation system. And I guess that's about it for this video. Next video, we'll clean stuff up. We'll keep working, add some more animations, actually create the character sheet for the player uh, or the, the texture sheet for the player with maybe another type of maybe a walk animation or something. I'll try to put something together uh, and then we'll work with that. Um, but here you go. Very simple animation component. And yeah, thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. Hope it was okay. I'm sorry for fumbling around a little bit. I wasn't 100% sure on some stuff. Uh, but we worked through it and it's fine. So yeah, take care. Keep working hard. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.